what is the best operating system ever? I mean, really, not not just general category of operating system, but what's the most awesomest, best, highest quality, most polished, most influential, most interesting, specific version of a specific operating system ever made? What, what exactly is it? There's a lot of good arguments out there for some of the current operating systems might be the best ever made in terms of being the most complex or the most, the most capable of doing the most widest variety of things. But there's also a really good argument for some of those early operating systems, some of the, the VAX-based systems, some of the early Unix-based systems. Uh, a lot of the systems happening are around uh, Xerox PARC there's, uh, for the Alto. Uh, you could say the early Apple Lisa was pretty revolutionary. You could say that DOS, PC-DOS, MS-DOS, Quick and Dirty DOS, DR-DOS, all the DOSes, those were pretty gosh darn influential. Which one is it, though? Like, what's the best operating system? This is the sort of question that keeps me up at night, for better or worse. And I want to I wanna solve it. Because when I think about my favorite operating systems, my mind immediately goes to some of the more retro-y systems. And that's partially because I like retro-y stuff. I like simple things. I like, I like things that harken back to a simpler time. But that in and of itself does not make an operating system the best. Just because when you use it, you get a warm, fuzzy, nostalgic feeling doesn't make it the best. I realize that I am profoundly ill-equipped despite having quite a lot of experience with a ridiculous number and variety of operating systems to actually answer this question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through over the next several weeks and I'm going to spend a little bit of time with a whole lot of them and I'm going to record it all. <laughs> this is ridiculous, but I'm going to have a shootout. I'm going to come up with a rating system, and I wouldn't mind any feedback that you have on this, because I'm going to do the first one tomorrow, Friday, July 12th. And the first one tomorrow is, is going to be something very old school, and uh, something from the 80s. And I'm going to rate it on a number of scales. I'm going to say uh, 1 to 10 on five different scales, let's just say, and, and come up with a, a total number. 1 uh, enjoyability. How much does that operating system make me smile? From from zero to ten, right? <laughs> zero being it did not make me smile, and ten, I had a smile on my face the whole time. I, I just looked like like I was like it was intoxicated on eighteen different types of intoxicants uh, while watching a very funny sitcom. That's ten. All right. So enjoyability. That's one. Two how polished it feels like how much does it feel like it was a labor of love for people who did the design work for people who structured the file system for people who 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 made sure the setup and installation software just flowed super nicely like what's that experience like like how polished is it does it feel like it was it, like they really hit it out of the park with accomplishing their design goals zero to ten right same basic thing so makes me smile and and how polished is it so that that's two things the third thing is how useful is it in any time period and what i mean by that is this if you take the software that was bundled with that system and the software that was created for that system by third parties, etc., at any period of time for that system, how useful is it in the 80s, in the 90s, nowadays, possibly 20 years in the future, how viable and interesting and useful does that system overall maintain? Right. So like uh, a, a zero would be, wow, why would anyone use this in any time period? Maybe like a three would be, you know, this was really useful in the early 90s. But 10 years later, it's just 
useless. Like it just is not functional for whatever reason, right? And a 10 is, man, any period of time, this is just a delightful system to use. I loves it. I loves it so much. I loves it in the 80s. I loves it in the 90s. And I loves it today, right? That would be like a 10, right? So, so that gives us three areas. The fourth area I, I would deem as um, how important is it, right? How important was this system in the history of computing, in the history of our of our culture and our series of societies, how much influence did that system have or will that system have going forward? A zero is it's long forgotten and 10, it's extremely important. And, and now the reason I'm including that here, because technically the, the historical importance of a system does not necessarily have any correlation to how well it's designed, how much you enjoy using it, how useful it is etc but i feel like when there, there are certain systems that even if you and i just despise them their their pure value from a historical perspective from an influential perspective and how much they change the computing industry i feel like that shouldn't be overlooked and i feel like that has inherent value in understanding and knowing a system regardless of what i think about any of the other aspects so that's that's the fourth thing and the fifth thing I'm going to make as the wild card, right, is, is are there things that are so great or so horrible about the system that it makes me want to weight it in a particular direction? How is Brian feeling about it? Like, <laughs> like how, how much do, do like, is there something, is there a feature of a system that I'm like, wow, this is so amazing. I just simply have to throw it some more points. That's what I'm going to do for, for number five. Um, now, you could say that my rating scale is insane, and you'd have probably some pretty good grounds to say that, <laughs> but that's what I think I'm going with. I, I'm, I'm open to some feedback. Feel free to give me feedback once I set it in stone in tomorrow's video, tomorrow's episode of the show. Uh, once I do the first one, it's locked, and I don't want to change it throughout this entire series because at the end I want to be able to tally it up and sort in order which one's winning which one is the best operating system ever now not necessarily meaning uh the most advanced it, not necessarily meaning the prettiest not necessarily meaning the one I even like the most but what's the best one ever and of course a lot of it is going to be based on my personal preferences but that's the whole point of this is for for me for Lunduke what operating system is the best and we're talking specific versions here i'm breaking out different versions of windows because there's like <laughs> windows 3.11 is a very different beast from windows 95 is a very different beast from nt4 is a very different beast from from xp etc 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 and even in the classic mac os arena Macintosh system software one through say four or five is a wildly different system than system seven or Mac OS eight or nine and Mac OS 10. Well, that's a whole different ball of crazy that you have to deal with there. And with DOS versions, DOS versions very wildly. There's a big difference between say PC DOS three and concurrent DOS. Uh, do you know there's versions of DOS that do multitasking? OS 2, um, uh, the various, uh, the Commodore workbenches, and we're talking separate versions of the Commodore workbench and Amiga, or sorry, not the Commodore workbench, the Amiga workbench and the Amiga OS. I'm going to get emails about that slip up. Um, you know, what, let's look at all of those. Let's look at the system for the Apple II GS. Let's look at Plan 9. Let's look at Haiku. Let's, and, and older BIOS-based systems. I mean, let's look at Palm OS. Why not? Let's look at Windows CE, son. Yeah, we're going through the whole shebang. And it's, we're not going in any particular order. Though the first couple are going to be older ones. We're not going to be hitting some of the newer ones right away. We're going to do some of the earlier ones. And I'm going to do this because then at the end, I'll be able to point and say, that operating system, that's the best one ever made. That specific version of that specific operating system is the best. Now, now, now here's another thing uh, that I, I want to I make clear about this. The vast majority of the operating systems that we're going to be looking at are closed source. Which normally, this is me now, normally I would ding it for being closed source, right? 
I would say, you know what, uh, on a, even if it's a, it would normally get all 50 points out of 50 of that random scale I came up with. Ah, I got to give it like a, like a, like a 20 out of 50, just because it's, it loses 30 points for being closed, right? <laughs> normally that's how I roll. And because when I pick my personal operating systems, they're very, very free. Like, uh, the system I'm running on right now is all Linuxy and free software. It's glorious. That, which is this rig back here provided by Pogo Linux at pogolinux.com. And it's just, it's just, that's the way I roll. But I'm going to assume that whatever operating system I crown <laughs> upon the throne of awesomeness, that is the best system ever. Let's just assume it can be made to become free. All right, let's let's assume let's 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 have wild and crazy assumptions that it can be made to become open source. Let's assume that. The reason I'm going for that is this, is I want to make a, a level playing field for all the other things that are great about various systems. So uh, that's the approach I'm going to take. Now that that little wild card rating that I said, that, that fifth thing of a 0 to 10 for something else, systems being all free software, that's going to get it extra points in that one. Systems all being closed source, that's probably not going to get it extra points in that one for me because that's just how I roll, right? But that doesn't necessarily make something like the best or most influential. Anyway, so we're going to be going through all of these. Uh, we're going to be starting with some older stuff. We're going to be jumping all over the map just to keep it varied and fun and loose. And, uh, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks. There will be some other shows happening. Uh, the weekly news will be happening. I also have got a review of the game shell. If you watch uh, the video version of this show, uh, you saw me put the game shell together. It took a little over an hour. And it was tons of fun to do. I've been playing with it a little bit here and there, and it is a really cool device. So sometime over the next week, I'm also going to be releasing a complete review of the game shell, um, and that's that's going to be fun. Now, if you send in questions to the show yeah, via Twitter, hashtag ask, Lunduke over on Libram social hashtag as Lundu, or just send it in via email, what have you. Uh, keep sending those in because I'm still going to be doing a lot of the questions, especially after this is over. Uh, it's going to take me a couple of weeks to get through the, the big bulk of the various operating systems. I've spent some time. We've got virtual machines and emulators galore. Um, we've got some actual hardware that a few of the systems are going to be running on. Um, though the biggest uh, hurdle for doing reviews of this sort of thing on actual hardware is getting good video capture for some of the devices so like uh uh for instance i've got some old macintoshes here capturing the video from those old macintoshes is a nightmare <laughs> It's just awful. Uh, so we'll probably end up doing a lot of the actual on-screen video stuff when I evaluate some of the classic Mac OS operating systems. We'll do those probably via emulator, even though that's not the ideal way to do it, just because then we can get a, a good clean capture. Um, uh, so a lot of what you're going to see on this show over the next couple of weeks is going to be a lot of screen capture and a lot of close-ups of gadgetry. <laughs> <laughs> for better or worse so uh get used to looking at this while you can because you're not gonna be able to soon son um it's ridiculous uh what, what else we got going on so so that's gonna be happening and i wanted to make sure you were aware of that so keep those questions coming in I'll sprinkle questions here and there uh, as I can, as I'm cranking through a lot of these. Uh, and then once we finish this series, we'll do a whole a whole like week's worth of questions. It'll be a ton of fun. Uh, anyway, so I decided I wanted to do this because it's kind of um, it's kind of a happy place for me. I love playing around with installing and playing around with setting up operating systems. Like I find that extremely fun. And especially in my younger years, uh, I enjoyed the experimentation of it. It was it was a truly just enjoyable thing for me to do. And uh, this year, 2019, has been a both remarkably amazing year and extremely difficult year over here. And I could really use to just like immerse myself 
in something truly fun, a very happy place sort of thing for me. You know, play around with these crazy operating systems. Uh, get get Geos up and running. Put Gem on top of FreeDOS over here. You know, these are the sorts of things I want to spend a little time doing. Anyway, so I'm going to do that uh, in large part just to put a smile on my face. And that's going to be just delightful. Again, and it's all made possible by folks like Pogo Linux. <laughs> Go to pogolinux.com. Look at this rig. Look at that rig. It's glorious. You're only seeing one little side of it right now, but it's beautiful. I keep turning it around just for fun. Uh, anyway, go go check out pogolinux.com. Come on back tomorrow, and we'll do the first one of these. Again, we're going to jump around a lot. And if I miss anything, if there's systems that I'm not hitting yet, feel free to make a request. Bear in mind that there are, on my personal list, several dozen that uh, that I've just absolutely got to get to. Um, so, But feel free to, to send comments, tweets, emails, whatever, like, hey, you got to remember to try this out, especially if you have recommendations for ways I can try things out. Um, uh, legally. Legally is very, very important to me. Um, I try and make sure I own a lot of copies of various operating systems, so that helps a lot. Uh, I worked at Microsoft for many years and during my time there I collected like every version of every Microsoft operating system um, along with all the various versions of OS 2 I have all the legal copies of that I have the vast majority of uh, Mac OS versions on original floppies and CDs and a couple of DVDs uh, that I actually paid for, I actually own, uh, along with a wide variety of other of other stuff, uh, DR DOS stuff over there. Like it's like I ha I have pretty much everything. But if you if you have an esoteric sort of operating system that you think is just rad, and you would like to see me included in the rankings. Try and see if you can find a way for me to pick up a copy of it. Like, like whether you're, we're talking picking up physical medium and then I can feel good that I own it when I go and emulate it. Or some way for me to purchase a piece of hardware to try it on if there's no good emulation that does it justice. That sort of thing. So I, I, I would appreciate those sorts of, of insights from all of you if you have any requests. And that's it. That's it for now. Oh, what an other thing we're going to be doing. We're going to do a couple of a couple of little side reviews. This little thing. Hold on here. Uh, I got this for Father's Day. It's a Data East cabinet from my arcade. And uh, it's absolutely awesome. It's just, it's a, it's a Data East. Uh, it doesn't have any batteries in it because it doesn't take batteries. It's too big. It just takes a little uh, little uh, mini USB back here to charge the darn thing. Uh, but it's got like tons of stuff in it. Uh, it's just absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to get going over this, uh, do a review on this sucker uh, sometime over the next week or two also. Uh, so we'll just get a nice little boop, zoom in camera on this thing. And, and I'll show you. I, I love these old ar like retro arcade mini cabinets. They're just delightful. It's just absolutely delightful. Anyway, so that's what's coming up here. I felt like I should say something. That way you're not all caught off guard. Anyway, that's all for the moment. I will see you guys tomorrow. And where am I at here? I'm over here. I'm going to click this button, and then I'm going to click the other button. And you guys won't even notice because I'll do it so seamlessly. You'll be like, did he click a button? 